Hi everyone, uh, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create this cool uh, marquee banner on a Squarespace site. Uh, yeah, this is the Squarespace edition of Marquee Banner. So if you want to add this kind of like movement um, into it, uh, that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so before we get started, I'm just using like a random template from Squarespace to create this tutorial. Um, but let me, I'm going to remove a bunch of code just so I can show you where everything is going. So give me just a second to clean everything up. Okay, save. And then let me go back to this page. Okay, so to get started, um, I'm going to like delete this section. So we're going to create a, a section on the page that you want this to be seen on. Um, and I have like my code already kind of um, added in and to, to adjust this quite quickly. Um, and all this code will be available on the blog post um, so you can easily copy and paste it. Um, and just for reference, you'll have this code, which is just like sliding text um, right here. Um, and, and again, this will be labeled out for you on the blog post, but this is for you to make it clickable, like so you can add a link. Um, and then if you want to like customize the actual font or type in it a little bit more, you can add some, some font, um, like styling, um, within it, but to get started. I am just going to copy, highlight that and copy this. Again, we're on the edit side of Squarespace. We are going to hit add a block and we are going to go down to code. Um, to delete that and then you're gonna paste the code in Now you can see like so where it says marquee banner. This is essentially where you're gonna add your own text so you can customize um, This to whatever you want. Um, I have it on like my website that says like get free goods here um, You know it can be showing work what like whatever text you want it to say um, add that, um, right here where it says H3 is going to, you can define it by saying like the size or whatever font styling you want on like to you. So, um, H1 is going to be the same as your header one text, H2, header two text. Um, you can do paragraph text if that's what you want. Um, I'm just going to do H3 for now, um, and to make sure that it's the same on the bottom here. So those are to like some details you can change <laughs> again, all of this. So you should kind of want to like create a couple words and I should copy and paste it, copy and paste it over and over and over again. Um, but let me just show you like what this could be. So let's say work, work. Or let's do this. My work, my work, my work. Um, and I should kind of type out what I want a couple times and then I should keep going. You want a good amount just so then it um, kind of keeps rotating kind of fluidly. Um, so it's kind of copy and paste. Um, and then you are all set. So then just hit apply. You're going to see that it's all like weird like this. So just don't worry about that. And then hit go to done and hit save. Okay. Um, now we're going to go back to 
copy and pasting the code. We are going to grab all of this. So copy and paste that. And on the home page, you're going to hit design. You're going to go down to custom CSS and you are going to paste that code and so then it starts moving. Um, and this is really cool, you know, to move across your screen. Some of the stuff like you can kind of change if you want, um, kind of depending on like what customization you would like. Um, you don't really need like too much of this. Some of it is going to be like highlighted with your actual text. Um, you can change the color um, or square space to like fit the brand. Um, the main thing you're going to want to test and kind of play around with, depending on the speed, is going to be right here. So let's say you want it to go slower, and you can do that. And it's going to slow down. Or if you want it to go faster, you can increase all of these. Um, and each of these are going to kind of like tell you how quickly you want it. So you can move this up um, and kind of speed it up to however you want. Um, again, all of the code is going to be on the blog post page. So just click the link below. Or if you're already on the blog post, um, scroll down and it will be available. And I'll highlight like all the pieces that can be updated. Um, you will notice that it like kind of... I don't know, like glitches a little. It's essentially just restarting. That's gonna happen um, just because it has to go back to the beginning. We can open it up and you can see that's going from left to right and it's really kind of cool. Um, so enjoy, check it out. Um, and that is how you add a marquee banner to your Squarespace site. Just remember to save this. And again, like let's say on your fonts, because this is a custom font, or not a custom font, I'm sorry, like a, a regular font. Let's go here. Um, like let's change this to this maybe. Like you can see that it changes. So whatever like brand or fonts that you are already using on your um, Squarespace site will work um, again on the code right here. On the actual code block, you can use it to identify um, like what font styles you want by, by clicking either H3 or H1 to whatever. Whatever your preference is, again, to hit apply, uh, and then you are all set. Um, and just a quick note, if you want to just, let me, oh, okay, you can't copy and paste. Um, if you, let me keep going with this tutorial. Okay, maybe if it lets me, okay. If you want the code to not be like full width, and again, I'll show you this on um, or I'm sorry, um, if you want to add ah, uh, if you want to add a link, so like when you click it, sorry, I got um, you can just add it in between these uh, apostrophes quotation marks. <laughs> uh, you could just add it within here. Um, let's see, like dragonflyapp.com, apply, and then like now you'll be able to click it if you want. Again, I'll lay it all out on the blog post so you can take a look more, but that is essentially how you add a marquee banner to Squarespace. 
Um, okay, if you have any questions, comments, uh, leave them below. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if this works for you um, or if you have, you know, anything else you want to add, let me know. Um, and don't forget to check out giantflyav.com for more tutorials and resources. Thank you. Bye.